Hello and welcome. This is Michael, Tree Line Backpacker. Today we're taking a look at something a little bit different. This is a gravel bike from Salsa. This is the Salsa Journeyer 2022 version. This is the 650B Flat Bar Diori model. This is basically a follow-up to the old Journeyman series that he made in the past, which have been very popular gravel bikes. I got one of these in pretty early, so I wanted to give you some initial thoughts. I've got a just a uh, I don't know about 12 miles on this so far so these are early impressions but I wanted to kind of walk around the bike show it to you give you just basically some thoughts on the individual components and how it rides since I do have it here now starting out this is again the flat bar version uh, I also have the drop bar version of the older one but this one has some key differences uh, the first thing you'll notice is of course the flat bars if we come up real nice and close, these are some Tektro hydraulic brakes, which they did not have in the past. Uh, this does give you better braking than mechanical, and that's a big improvement. This is a two-finger brake, so it provides good stopping power, not amazing, but a lot better than any mechanical that's going to be out there. So two fingers should be enough to quite easily bring you to a screeching stop, depending on the surface that you're on. Now, as the name implies, 650B comes down to the tires. Instead of 700C, which is a narrower, taller tire, this is slightly shorter, has more air volume. So it's going to ride a little smoother, maybe slightly harder to pedal, not a big difference. Uh, but these are quite nice. Taking a closer look, you can see this particular tire has a nice center bead that's to give you speed on smooth surfaces like just hard packed gravel or concrete, uh, hard packed dirt, and you do have some knobs coming in on the side to kind of bite in. If you do start going off course, if you hit a muddy spot, those are going to come in handy, and those are quite nice. This is a big improvement over some of the tires they used to include, which were essentially knobby all the way throughout, and that just created way too much friction, and I really didn't enjoy those. I swapped them almost immediately on the drop bar version that I have of this. Because you didn't need that extra friction. This is not a mountain bike, you know. You just want to go fast. Taking a look down here, you do have a through axle aluminum fork with various mounts coming down the side, so you can strap a lot of things to this. There's the disc brake, or the pad in particular. Have a nice salsa logo right on the front there. Uh, of course, this is the flat bar version. Has a little bit of a sweep, nothing dramatic. Overlook the uh, flashlight on the front there. That's something I, of course, added myself. Here's some more mounts on the frame here. And I added a water bottle. Comes with a pretty nice crank and crank set. Uh, it does come with a, well, at least mine came with a generic plastic pedal. Uh, most bike shops will throw those on there for you, but. If you order this online, chances are it won't come with any, which is fine. Everybody has their preference on pedals, so you can just swap those out. Adjustable seat with a dropper. And this is just another light that I strap on here. It does come with a WTB Volt saddle. This is quite a nice saddle if you ride with bike shorts. If you do not, I do not enjoy the saddle a bit. So do keep that in mind. It is a good saddle. Quite popular for gravel bikes in particular, and even mountain bikes. A lot of mountain bikers use these. That's a pretty decent saddle, so I was happy they put that on there. Coming down to the back, a better view of the Tektro calibers. Now these do have a good amount of stopping power. Nothing crazy. Uh, probably not good enough for hard mountain biking, but for the kind of stuff you do on a gravel bike, these are quite sufficient. Another view of the tread here. And we're going to back up and just look at the frame in general. Now this is a, the flat bar version being, has a lot of differences actually. A lot more than I expected when I picked it up. The bike overall does ride quite a bit different than the drop bar versions. You sit a bit more upright. You're in a little bit more of an attack position. So you feel, I'm going to say more alert. Um, but you are still... A little bit over the front unlike a full mountain bike so it's not quite that road bikey leaning over the handlebars in a arch kind of position but you are still putting a bit of weight on the front 
it does control quite well it's a bit snappier a little more lively than the drop bar version but it's at the same time a lot more comfortable when you're hitting chunky stuff so transitions onto and off of gravel uh, if you're hitting potholes if you ever have to go in any real chunky sections or paddling through grass especially high grass that bar and really the geometry as a whole feels a lot more stable than the drops now at the same time you are giving up a little bit of wind resistance since you are a little more upright you're going to have more wind pushing against you so you're not going to feel quite as fast it's not that big of a difference really but you do feel it and of course you're losing out on those multiple hand positions so that's something to keep in mind as well but overall i have been enjoying it the gearing's pretty good it's a lot lower than i expected it does have the diori gear set this particular version is a one by on the front and of course you can see the gearing on the back here it does have a very good low end so better at climbing than i would say even the uh, the two by systems that come on bikes usually in this price range so it climbs quite well you do lose a little bit of that detail in between the shifting so a lot of these gears in the back you can see there's a pretty big jump between the smallest and the next to smallest there um, so it's not as always a smooth or as small as transition as I would like. I would like to see a 1 by 12 on this. I think that would really fix it. Um, but yeah, it definitely does the job. You do lose a little bit of the high end having the mountain biking transmission on here. But in my experience, I very rarely get up to that on a gravel bike anyway, unless I'm on the road. So I think that's a good trade-off. Um, overall, it's a good bike. I really enjoy it. It's a little chattery if you're riding higher air pressure, but you do have those 650B tires, so you can lower that a little bit. I think I'm riding at about 34 pounds of pressure typically, but I have some chunky terrain around here. Uh, about 25 pounds. I think this one's currently going for about $1,200 if you can get it for that. Uh, this is still pandemic time, so you never really know what they're going to be charging. But it's a good bike. I look forward to more videos. I'll probably compare it more directly to the drop bar versions. Um, if you have any questions about it, just let me know. But I do expect to do a full review, so keep an eye out for that. But as always, thank you for watching. Check out treelinebackpacker.com for more info. I do have some accessories coming up I'm going to review with this as well. And if there's anything in particular you want to see, just let me know. Thank you.